Hello, and welcome to high school. The next four years are going to impact you for the rest of your life. You're going to meet new people, and you'll have new opportunities that you've never dreamed of. It can be a little intimidating, but with the proper set of tools, your high school experience can be very enjoyable for you and the people around you. One vital part of our school is the system of passages known as the hallway. The halls may seem simple and easy to use when you walk to the bathroom alone during class, but during the passing periods, when hundreds of students are fighting to get from point A to point B in less than five minutes, the halls can become quite congested. This seemingly chaotic, uncontrollable situation can be easy for everyone if we just follow some basic rules. This is Hallway Etiquette, a Common Speak presentation. To start out, think of the hallway like a road. There is an imaginary dotted line down the center. Just like when you are driving, you stay to the right. If we all remember this, we can avoid the undesirable chaotic mosh pit-like situations in shopping malls or Tokyo's public transit systems. Another thing that can make the hallway unenjoyable is the conversation huddle. This is when Cindy and Betty see Brett and Craig across the hallway and decide to get together for a little chat. It is good to have friends and be sociable, but when Big Tony Bigenstein is trying to get to his favorite English class, the little buddy bunch is going to get a rude awakening. So instead of telling Brett about your weekend, instead just say, Hey Brett, let's do lunch. Good work, Cindy. So let's work together to make these hallways as effective as possible at getting us all where we need to go. Thank you for your time. This has been Hallway Etiquette, a Common Speak presentation.